is a, a, a super phone should always have uh, the type of peripheral and peripheral connections that you would expect a computer to have. And this particular, this particular um, uh, LG super phone has a HDMI uh, connector to it. Let's just connect that in there. Let's see here, so you guys see that? So we got, um, it's, it's driving an HDTV. Um, hang on. Now this is um, uh, Android, for all of you who, who haven't played with Android before, I mean, and the Android operating system, Andy Rubin and the team did a great job with it. I, I really love the widget concept of Android. If, uh, if you guys haven't had a chance to play with Android, these, these uh, active applications that are always on, um, there's uh, multiple panels, and, and so there's applications, and there are these widgets, and so there's the search widget, uh, there's a Slacker radio widget, uh, the music player widget, there's the um, San Francisco, it looks like it's a pretty nice day uh, widget. And um, that's the uh, augmented reality layer widget, multiple time clock widget. So there's all kinds of things. And you, you, um, uh, you have the ability to look at this pretty snappy phone here. The user, user interface is really snappy and, and works quickly. It has the ability to show you uh, multiple desktops and multiple panels uh, at one time. Uh, you choose uh, the one that you would like to go to. And one of the one of the, I guess, uh, fun applications that people really enjoy is um, Angry Bird, and uh, I don't know why they were so angry, but but um, uh, you have the, the ability to play this on uh, HD TV now, and so all of a sudden this this uh, I don't think anybody's ever seen Angry Bird quite that big before. <laughs> this is this is great. So so it's a. Uh, do it! Do it! There we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, so um, uh, you could read magazines, you could read books, uh, you could um, uh, do all kinds of stuff. So let's see what else can we do here. Uh, you got, got a photo gallery. Uh, the uh, Tiger 2 has one of the, the uh, fastest image sensing processors in the world. And so the camera is super fast. It also has an 8 megapixel camera. Um, here's uh, some photographs, some home, home photos. Uh, this is from, you know, every year instead of a Christmas party, we, we take the money we would have spent on the Christmas party, and we donate it to, we, we adopt a cause in the community. And this particular, this last year, uh, we adopted a neighborhood and um, that's kind of run down. And about a thousand employees, we spent a few hundred thousand dollars that we would have spent in the Christmas party, and we transformed the neighborhood for them. And, you know, as a result, we have a, we have uh, wonderful memories and uh, people in the community that we've helped. And so now, now you've, uh, you know, you've got a one, look, this is, a, this is a, a photo gallery that you can share with your friends and your family, just connected to HDMI. Uh, you could high definition videos, 1080p HD video. Oh, how I wish I was back in my cage with my mirror and my little bell. Uh. Bobo here can't fly. Don't worry, Blue. It's in your DNA. That's pretty great. My featherless friends can do it. How hard can it be? Ah! That's pretty amazing. Right, right off your little tiny device here. Okay. And um, I look at this. Uh, so the UI is super snappy and. We just uh, there were ten apps running at the same time. So one of the things that's really great about about Android is that it's multitasking. So I could have all these different apps that are open, and if I like to close them because I'm done using it, and I'd like to free up some memory, um, I can turn off those applications. But but uh, the world's first mobile device that's completely multitasking. So you could be streaming streaming audio, go to your web uh, web browser, open that up, and um, uh, go you know browse the web. Google's up. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to something that's a little challenging here. Why don't we go to something that that um, uh, needs needs flash? Um, <laughs> now, of course, of course, um, uh, 
you know, could you guys spare me a little bandwidth? <laughs> just, just a little. A little more than that. <laughs> if you guys could just, just a little smidgen. I feel like I'm on 56K here. Well, this is something that Kyle can do something about when you guys meet him later. One of, one of the reasons why we need more and more bandwidth is because, because you guys, you guys hog it all. Um, and so, so this particular website, the Wall Street Journal website, of course, has a, a flash video, but it also has uh, flash advertisements. Um, you know, obviously, the, the foundation of e-commerce uh, for the internet, uh, a lot of it is related to advertising. And flash is the engine behind a great deal of the advertising and the advertisers on the world. And so there's this, a uh, black box on the right-hand side that if you guys could give me the opportunity to load, um, <laughs> uh, it would uh, show you a, a, a web, um, a flash advertisement. Oh, you guys suck. <laughs> you guys are completely terrible. You know, we have, we have these, um, these blasters here that blocks you guys. And apparently, a couple of you guys have, have a blocker hack, hacking capability, and I'm still blocked. You guys really suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so uh, uh, at, at 1K by, um, uh, we, will, we will be enjoying a, a web experience here shortly. Um, and so, so instead of... Instead of <laughs> Instead of that, um, why don't we uh, why don't we go do something else? And so, so uh, imagine, can you guys imagine a website coming up and flash coming up? Okay.